This is a Dodge Charger. This is a Plymouth GTX. And the plan is, is to take parts from each of these cars, turn them into scans, and then we're going to overlay them onto a Mercedes CL500 from 2005. My client's got this awesome idea about creating a clamshell design for the American parts over the European car. He's done his research, he thinks it will fit. So we're going to scan, we're going to model, and we're going to make the car a reality. Okay, so having previously outlined the scope of the projects, taking parts of the American cars and looking to fit them onto the, the donor car, which is the Mercedes CL500, let's talk about what we're actually doing in a little bit more detail. So starting with the large items, well, the biggest of them all is going to be the Mercedes CL500. So starting with the CL500, having removed the, um, the wings and various panels off the car, we're going to scan that to give us our, our references. We're going to use the A-Sub Orange Sublimation Spray. The reason for that is there's a lot of surfaces, it's a big car, and the sublimation spray will stay on the car for at least 12 hours, gives us the day that we need to scan the entire car without having to respray the car with, with the spray. We'll also use the A-Sub 12 millimeter dots. There's a lot of flat side, shiny surfaces there. Again, the dots will give the scanner something to reference to as we work our way around the car. Okay, moving on from um, scanning the CL500, we've got a number of very large panels from the donor American cars. Um, we've got two rear quarters, left-hand side and right-hand side from the Plymouth GTX. Um, again, they are the paint on them is in good condition, even though they've been cut away from the original vehicle. So we'll be covering those with the sublimation spray and supporting the spray with use of the 12 millimeter dots. Okay, so after we've scanned the car and the two rear quarters, we're gonna start working on some of the smaller items. The first one being the LED headlamp unit that we're planning on using. We're gonna be using four of these within the assembly on the front of the, the, the car. Um, we don't have a CAD model of this, but in order to um, create the plate that we're gonna mount these to, we're gonna scan the, 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 the light unit and then use that in the design of the, the mounting plate. So the next item of the, the small items that we're gonna be scanning are these shiny door handles. Now, these have a high gloss chrome finish, they're polished. The scanner will have a very hard time trying to pick these surfaces up on their own. So what we're going to use is the A-Sub Orange Sublimation Spray. That will give us the dull finish we need in order to be able to scan it and accurately get the information. And so the reason that we're scanning this is because we don't have a CAD model of it. We need to do a feasibility exercise to find out whether there's some way we can integrate the release mechanism that's on this handle into the mechanism that's in the CL500. Um, the car's going to be pretty useless if we can't open the doors and get into it to drive. So in order to keep the style of the car the way that we want to look, hopefully we can use these door handles. Okay, so moving on from the um, scanning the CL500, the two rear quarters and those small components. We also have a range of other components that we're going to be scanning as well. Uh, a couple of doors, we have the front quarters, we have a bonnet, we have a boot lid, we have a roof. And we also have a section where the A-pillars are that actually has a, a glass screen in there. We have the very iconic grille of the Dodge Charger and it has the flip-up headlights in it. So really looking forward to getting my hands on that so we can scan it. <laughs> 